live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my newscast I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Well, this is a nice and beautiful day outside. It's been a while since we had that, so we have all these hot temperatures around here in Huntsville, Alabama. But anyways, um, I'm going to be uh, talking about Walmart today. Um, Walmart is a number one retailer in the country and around the world. It not only serves America, it serves uh, Mexico, South America, Asia, like including uh, China and Japan. And Japan and other uh, Walmart like brands in Europe which is in Britain and Germany and France and whatsoever um, but what I'm really gonna talk about is uh, how Walmart is today I mean of course some Walmarts are good some Walmarts are bad some Walmarts are even neutral but to tell you the truth um, if you even work at a Walmart and you had experience with it, which is a alright experience, a good experience, or a bad experience. But some of the people I talked to who worked at Walmart had a bad experience with them, um, including low pay, no breaks, uh, little breaks, and um, you have to work all the time, and they even treat you like slaves. But not all Walmarts are like that. Some of them are good. Some of them are friendly. Some of them are, have... Uh, dinner parties, lunch parties, um, birthday parties, or even holiday parties, so it is what it is, and um, I'm going to get to all that, but I'm going to show you a walkthrough on Walmart, what Walmart is back then, was like now. Um, what I'm about to tell you is that um, Walmart is just like, a, let's say, like a little mall or something like that, and you walked in. All of, all of the Walmarts are now super centers, and you walk first walk in Walmart, and you see all these little stores on the right as soon as you walk in. Just say you walk in the um, market entrance, and on your left side, all you see is Burger King, McDonald's, or Subway, and it's like a you have a little um, food court or something like that because you. Uh, see a little restaurant on the side there and on the so other side um, you see a pharmacy on the right and when you uh, go on your left if you get go into the market entrance and you take a right um, you see little shops like um, a little cell phone shop a little marketing shop a hair salon and all that stuff so Walmart is the number one company and um, in spite of being the one number one company, um, it has sorts of problems like uh, people going on strikes, people quitting, people doing sexual harassments. I mean, that is not right, is it? So, yeah, they got to put a stop to all that. And uh, hopefully they resolve all of this. And I see all these TV commercials talking about they going to raise minimum wage to 10 bucks an hour, 9 bucks an hour for cashiers and all the other workers. Well, is this true? Is it? Well, you have to see for yourself and find out. But anyways, I'm going to take you to the walkthrough of Walmart history on Walmart today. So I hope you enjoy it. And by then, I'll end my newscast from there. So roll the tape, please, and let's go. Walmart, the number one retail in the world. The chain is known for carrying groceries, merchandise, electronics, deli centers, sporting goods, garden center, and even non aisle center. It's like a one-stop shop for all average Americans, in which it was founded by Sam Walton in 1962. The first Walmart opened was located in Rogers, Arkansas. The chain wasn't public until 1970 when more and more people took interest in Walmart. And when Walton founded the chain, he also promised that the prices on merchandise would always be low and affordable. Also, Walton made sure that the customers and all working employees made sure that they have dignity, had deserve and receive respect they deserve. As the years went on, Walton founded Sam's Club in 1983. The first chain store opened in which it was also called the Warehouse Club. Sam is known for selling a variety of grocery items, electronics, and other goods. Now back to Walmart. When Walton died in 92, a variety of people took over as CEO and president of the chain. As the years went on, Walmart was used to be an 
merchandise only chain between the 1960s through today in which there aren't much left of them. Today's Walmart chain is only either grocery stores or super centers in which to mention the first super center opened in 1988 located in Washington, Missouri. In which super centers are known for which I mentioned earlier has all the items a grocery store or a merchandise store would have. But let's fast forward to today. I want you to take a look at a few pictures. See how the people are smiling like they professionally have a good career at Walmart? Well, to tell you the truth, there are no such thing as a career at Walmart unless you are a CEO or some higher power spokesperson. And if you are also planning to get a job at Walmart, well, you're not going to get much joy because it is known for minimum wages, little to no insurance, and mostly, you'll get to experience low hours and most of all, no respect. And to top it all off, employees felt like they had been overworked, getting little to no breaks, and to mention earlier, little pay. And guess how the employees react? They form unions, and they form strike all across the nation in hopes of better working conditions and better pay. As the protests went on, Walmart stores were still operating as normal, even on busy days such as Black Friday. And not all the people were supportive to the strike march, even law enforcement. About dozens of people were arrested for disturbing the peace and other violations. As for Walmart stores and management affected by the strikes, they replaced or fired all the employees similar to the fast food strikes. If founder Sam Walton was asked a few questions on why Walmart was like this today, the questions would be, what events led to poor management and dissatisfactory of the number one chain? What could you have done to prevent unfortunate events such as strikes? And finally, would you have called an international meeting to discuss events that happened with the chain in recent years? If Walton wasn't allowed to see that his chain has gone through notorious situations and that some of the management of his chains were either unprofessional and rude, he would most likely be disappointed and shocked on what's going on. So on what we talked about today, in my opinion, on what management should have done to keep negative stuff from happening, is to practice safety measures to make sure everyone is safe Get good set of breaks between working shifts for employees to do a very productive day. And most of all, better working conditions in which will increase workers to live above poverty. In conclusion, not all Walmart stores are good or bad. Each store has their own character and how the employees and management handle the situations. Just because you see commercials and images don't mean the truth. What you see in real life will be the truth. In the end, like most people, Walmart will someday may resolve these issues and everyone will be happy. Now back to the regular newscast. Alright, what's going on folks? Did you enjoy the walkthrough? Did you enjoy the presentation? Well, I am glad. I forgot to mention that um, during the presentation while I'm saying all this uh, negative stuff that Walmart has on its customers and employees, seeing all the fake smiles and stuff, I forgot to mention that every time we go to Walmart, they have four or five lanes open every time, which is ridiculous. I mean, of course, my opinion is Walmart needs to start making improvements. Like everywhere in Huntsville, Alabama, all I see is more Walmarts and more Kmarts closing down in the USA. Now, if Walmart had all that money to build all these stores, I mean, shouldn't they just save up and just stop? Build a lot of stores, just get less stores in and uh, pay their customers, I mean, uh, employees more. Because, you know, right now I believe they're living in poverty, which is kind of ridiculous. And a matter of fact, I'm at one right now. This is the neighborhood market on Jordan Lane and Oakwood Avenue. So, this is like. I don't know how many Walmarts are there in Huntsville. There's one on Drake Avenue, there's one here, there's one on Sparkman, one on the University, one on South Parkway that recently replaced Mason Plaza. Now, so, kind of crazy right here. 
But anyways, my final opinion is that um, they should build less Walmarts, and uh, that's all I had to say about that. So, to all the Walmart workers out there, all I had to say is good luck, and um, hopefully you uh, work things out. If not, just go find another job, because, you know, like I just said, uh, the people I talk to who work for Walmart, some of it says it's okay, most of them say it's not okay, because... They were overworked and they were treated like slaves and they were yelled at. They were let go for no reason, but whatever. So I'm just going to go sign off for now because I don't have any more to talk about. But until next time, I am J-Dog. I am out. Peace.